Good morning, you guys. So welcome back to a new vlog. I just threw on my makeup for the day because we are going thrifting. One of my always most requested types of content is thrifting. And the last time I went thrifting, I had some really good luck, but it's been a minute. So hopefully we hit the jackpot today, but I'm gonna take you guys along. I have a Sabres I go to that tends to have really good stuff. So that's where I'm gonna be going today. But before we head out, I wanted to try this. This is from my last Amazon haul video and I haven't used it yet. So I thought we would try it together real quick. It's that peel off lip liner and like lip stain um, that everyone loves. I had a different one, but it was a little too dark for what I wanted. So I got the shade called Rose. So I don't know about you guys, but like my lip liner is one of the first things to always come off. So I thought we could try this together. You have to be so careful when you apply this because it like, it does stain and you have to wait for it to dry. So like, you gotta be careful. All right, here we go. And I kept my makeup pretty neutral just in case this comes out like red red. But the rose looked more, you know, like a light dusty pink. Okay, the bottom lip is done. The top one is the scarier one. Okay, so far so good. Okay, side looks good. You can do it on your whole lip as a lip stain. I think it's good. I kind of want to do the whole lip. You know, it just kind of feels like why not go for the whole thing? Like there's hardly any lip left, so why not? We're just gonna go for it. We can wait at least five minutes or up to 20 minutes and then use tweezers or your fingers to peel off from the outer corners. All right, so while we wait for this to dry, actually, I don't know, can I talk during this? Yesterday was Valentine's Day. I didn't vlog yesterday, but we had a really nice day. I started the day off and I went and got uh, my nails done. This color is called, I think, Let's Be Friends from Hello Kitty OPI. It's like the perfect milky, purpley, white pink. I don't know. I, I just think it's so pretty, nice and neutral, because my last set of nails was like that pink chrome, which was so pretty. But I had those on for, I think, over three weeks. So they had grown out quite a bit. I have makeup powder all over me. So yeah, I went and got my nails done and then I went, I bring my mom flowers and chocolate every year. So I made a cute little reel this year doing it. Um, I went to Trader Joe's and got her some flowers and chocolate and I brought it over to her house. And then at night, Yara and I decided to just have another chill night in like last year. We watched No Hard Feelings on Netflix with um, Jennifer Lawrence and we ordered pizza and it was just a perfect chill night. Yara got me some really pretty flowers and this like heart um, pastry box of stuff <laughs> from our local bakery that we always go to. Oh, and chocolate covered strawberries. And we had those and it was just like a perfect, like chill, cozy night. So I hope you guys had a good Valentine's day. Okay, I can feel this starting to dry. So I don't wanna like mess it up. So I'm gonna shut this off and I'll be back when it's dry. A few minutes later. Okay, I'm back and the lips are dry. So let's get it off because I also, I don't know if like the longer it sits, the darker it's gonna become, but okay. Once you get the edge, you can kind of peel it. Ooh. Okay, that is such a pretty color. It's kind of like a raspberry. Okay. Top lip. Ooh. Oh my God, that is so, that is so pretty. Okay, wow. That is so cute. It's like the prettiest raspberry pink. Okay, I love it. I am gonna take a little concealer just to clean up, but I did like a pretty good job. So we'll see how it wears today. I think that color is absolutely stunning. I'm glad I did my makeup pretty neutral and like the two lips peeled off like super seamlessly and I'm just gonna top it with some e.l.f. lip gloss. I'm glad I did the whole lip because like now the whole thing is stained, easy breezy. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted as we vlog today and see if it lasts all day, but we are ready to go to the thrift store. So you guys, I am mostly excited to look at home stuff, but I'm gonna peruse the clothing too, of course. And one of my favorite things that I got from this thrift store, I was so excited. I found this the last time we went to Savers and it's the same art my mom had growing up. I love anything with like little angels, little cherubs. So finding that was so exciting. So, all right, mama is going to the thrift store, Buana. Okay, let's see if we hit the jackpot today, people. Okay, starting off with art. 
I already see a bunch of stuff that I really like. Okay, you guys back home so I only ended up getting three things I had a couple other things in my cart but ended up putting them back but I am very much in love with what we got first and foremost this was by far the best find it has the original price on the back it's from pier one imports and it was a hundred dollars originally and I got it for $10.99. So this is such a beautiful piece of art here. This is 100% something that I would buy and probably pay full price for. Um, it's very much the aesthetic of like our living room and the color scheme. I love the flowers. It's this really pretty like I think they're orchids um, and it's actually got like texture to it. It is so beautiful. This was a great find and it was up at the top. Like I was looking at everything and then I look up and I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love this. Um, there was also another little like antique gold framed like bathroom painting that I had in my cart or it might have been a drawing, I don't know. But um, I ended up putting it back because I don't have a spot for it. I don't even necessarily have a spot for this, but it was such a great deal and I like to swap my art out anyway. Um, and it just matches the color palette of our living room so even like our bedroom I could put this anywhere like I just I think it is so so pretty okay and then I fell in love with this this was $4.49 it is microwave oven and dishwasher safe from the brand called Sheffield look how cute this ramekin is I think it is so pretty it's got little flowers and strawberries on it and i love that it's oven safe so i can like bake things in here i don't know i just think it is so dang cute and i don't have i don't have a lot of uh cookware like this in fact i don't think i have any <laughs> that are like ramekin bowls then i found a brand new pair of fashion nova jeans literally still has the tag on i had bought a pair of fashion nova jeans randomly um I've showed them like a couple times now and they fit so well they're so comfortable and stretchy and these feel the same the ones i got were like a light wash so i did not try these on in the store it was really busy i feel like that savers it's always busy they're called the best ever straight leg jeans so whoop, they feel feel good hey babe how do these jeans look i haven't looked in the mirror yet i got them at savers they're oh, for good. Do they? 
How much did it cost you? Like 15, no, $12. No way, really? Yeah, and they're brand know. new with the tag on. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they're cute. I really like Fashion Nova jeans, so. Remind me, did you just say Sabres? Yeah, I went to Sabres. Guess how much this was originally? Uh, originally, I'd say 60 bucks. A hundred. No way. And I can tell it's it's old too from Pier One Imports. This is probably even more now. Guess how much I got it for? Uh, uh, twenty-five. Ten. No. Isn't that nuts? Really? And it like matches our living room oh, so well. Yeah, ten dollars. Oh my. And it's so like vintagey and pretty, and I just it matches our color palette. Isn't that amazing? And then this I got this ramekin. It's oven and dishwasher safe for like cooking and stuff. So cute. That's all I got. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. It was busy though. It's That one is always busy. But I'm telling you, every time I go there, I find so much good stuff in the home section. The clothing was pretty dry. All I got was these jeans. Okay. But I'm happy about how they fit. Let me go look in the mirror. <laughs> oh yeah, these fit pretty good. I think Fashion Nova jeans actually work on me. Six and a half hours later. It's so much later now, you guys. It is 7.30. We just had leftover pizza from Valentine's Day for dinner. And we watched a new episode of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Um, and I think we only have two episodes of it left, but it's really good. So, actually, I have some friends coming over now to watch The Bachelor. It was a twofer this week. There was an episode on Monday and Tuesday. So, we watched Monday nights on our own, and now we're going to watch Tuesday nights tonight. And I'm really excited to see the result of... Because they ended it on a weird note, didn't they? No, they did show... They did show the result of the two-on-one. And... I'm, I'm really happy with how the two-on-one result was because that was just, that was a lot. That was a lot. And I was kind of feeling, kind of feeling bad for Maria. I was like, I just don't know what was going on there. But anyway, uh, yeah, so my friends are coming over to watch it pretty soon. So I have eaten lunch and dinner with the lip stain. So as you can see, a lot of it has worn off, but at the same time, a lot of it's still on. Like it's not as vibrant but it's way better than when I just do like normal lip liner and lipstick. So honestly, pretty impressed. And then I think too, probably if you leave it on for the full 20 minutes, the better staying power it would have. I only left it on for the five. So I'll test that again another time and leave it on for 20, but I'm pretty impressed, pretty impressed. So I'm gonna go watch The Bachelor and I'll see you guys later. Tomorrow. Oh my gosh, what would you do is still on TV, like new episodes. <gasps> I used to watch What Would You Do so much. And like, I love that show. Cause like, it did kind of restore my faith in humanity. <laughs> because a lot of the times people actually did like, step in when they really should. Um, anyway, good morning. I'm still in my pajamas. Um, I've been still sticking to my resolution of easing into mornings and just not feeling like I have to rush my whole day. I can just, try to enjoy the morning. I'm currently eating a um, little yogurt bowl. I did yogurt, um, some of this granola, blueberries, and chia seeds. It looked really pretty before I stirred it all up. I mean, she was, she was stunning. She was stunning, but as we do with Chipotle bowls, you gotta mix it up. Do you guys mix your Chipotle bowls? Please tell me, because it's so funny. I used to never mix my Chipotle bowls. When I was eating Chipotle with this, this person, they always mix their bowl. And I was like, that looks gross. But I did it, and now I love it. And now I, I've, years now, I have been mixing my Chipotle bowl. That's morning thoughts with me. <laughs> so last night, my friends and I watched The Bachelor. The Leia stuff kind of came out of nowhere. I don't know. But it was, it was good though. I'm really enjoying uh, this season so far. And I'm so excited that they said they're gonna do a golden bachelorette. So let me know who you guys think they're gonna pick. I'm assuming they're gonna pick someone from Gary season because there were so many like amazing women and like we all know them and it would be like familiar and exciting. So really curious, really curious who they're gonna put for the golden bachelorette, but I'm so excited because originally I had heard they were only gonna do another golden bachelor and I'm like, why aren't we doing a Golden Bachelorette? So very excited about that, but it's currently nine o'clock. Yard just went up to start working. Um, we just 
chilled and had breakfast and watched a little news. And Bruno is going to the groomers today. <laughs> you gotta go to the groomers. We usually go now, about every month, every four to six weeks. But the last time I told them to take off less because I didn't want him super short with like the winter. And I do, it was not enough of a haircut. So uh, we gotta make sure that they do a little more this time. So I'm gonna take him to the groomer later. Um, after I drop him off at the groomer, I'm gonna go to the gym and go to the grocery store. I'll take you guys along, because I don't think yesterday's thrifting content was like super duper long, but let me know if you guys want more of that, or maybe if you guys want me to try like other thrift stores, we can kind of start a little series trying different ones in the area, so let me know. All right, you guys, just got ready. I am layered up. It is so cold and so windy. I have on my workout top this sweatshirt and I'm gonna put on a coat and I'm wearing the new leggings and top that I got from Amazon. I took a picture of it because um, my camera was down here, but um, it's really cute. The top is very much like the Lululemon Align tanks and the leggings are very soft like the Beyond Yoga. So they came in a three pack and the top super affordable. I'm wearing the XXL. So I'll link those again if you want. Um, some good little workout clothes. I just put my hair up in a clip. Bruno's by the door, he's ready to go. <laughs> I put his leash on already because we're gonna go to the groomers. Oh my gosh, it's windy. Come on, you wanna go see your friend? Come on, let's go see your friend. He loves his groomer, yes he does. Let's go. Guys, it is so cold. I didn't even vlog in the grocery store. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. <sighs> okay guys, I'm back home. Holy crap, it is such a winter day today <laughs> it was such a tease last week when we had like a few beautiful days my nose is running <laughs> i'm back home now got the groceries i also need to cut the bottoms off the flowers look how pretty these are i love them because i really want them to last i'm gonna take good care of them because i haven't had fresh flowers in a while. So anyway, I got a very small amount of groceries. You guys know yarn, his green juice. Bagels for him, oranges. Uh, I got more granola. I tried a different one this time from Cascadian Farms. Oats and honey, that's usually the kind I get, just different brands. Bananas that are perfectly ripe. Jalapeno slices, cause that's me. Yep, that's me. Frozen peppers, some Kerrygold butter, whipped cream cheese. Egg whites. Oh, and then here's more fruit for our breakfast yogurt bowls, if I'm feeling it. I was so excited they had jumbo blueberries. I love jumbo blueberries. Um, and then just some raspberries that looked really good because normally I put both in there. And then more turkey bacon, American cheese, and some ground turkey. Very little run today. Getting what we needed. These jumbo blueberries look so good. Super juicy and crunchy. Bruno is at the groomers now um, and the house is always so quiet when the dog's not here. Yara and I are like, this is weird. But you know what? It's probably a good time while he's not here. I haven't yet washed his um, couch cover, but he loves that thing. I've showed it before. That has been saving our couch, especially in the winter where it's like muddy and snowy outside. So I think I'm gonna wash it. It's probably, probably about time, but let's put these away first. Okay, so here is Bruno's dog couch cover and it has been absolutely saving the couch <laughs> and I think it's super cute I don't even mind like having it on here like I planned to take it off when people came over but like I never take it off I think it's cute so it's got non-slip underneath and it's keeping the couch so clean and fresh um, and he loves it he loves snuggling up on it so 
definitely like look how clean it is under here so nice normally i was cleaning the couch all the time because bruno just <laughs> loves the couch so let's see i've never washed this so i'm gonna look up the directions okay you guys i'm gonna whip us up some lunch before i hop in the shower i'm gonna make some little bowls so i'm going to heat up this um long grain brown and wild rice mix and then we've been buying a lot of these like steamable in bag um blends from whole foods and they have like sauce already on them they're so good um this is the first time trying this one the basil and garlic sauce so we'll see how it is and I'm also just gonna cook up a little bit of chicken as well. Bruno's cover is already in the washing machine. First, I'm gonna cook up our chicken. There's a new season out of Love is Blind, and I am so excited. I haven't started it yet. <laughs> I'm so sad that like they make us wait for new episodes now. Like the old days, <laughs> we're all used to things coming out all at once, but like now they put out some episodes now, and then they're gonna drop more in like a week and then the rest in like another week. And it's just like, ugh, this is not what streaming used to be about. Okay, I threw in the mix with the chicken now and I'm just letting it cook through here. It smells really good, it's very like herby. So that's cooking. And then just one letting that cook, I figured I would just cook the rice on the stove, heat it up here nice and slow. But yeah, there is lunch. Okay, you guys, this is fresh out of the wash it smells nice and fresh so let's put it back on someone just got back from grooming and got a little treat oh delicious he looks very handsome you look very handsome, very soft. You smell very good. <laughs> he looks perfect. This is like the perfect length for when he gets a haircut and then it can just start to grow out and then we'll do it again in four to six weeks. Forever, forever and ever. You like your peanut butter bone? Look at you, wow. He's gonna go get water. Go and get Wawa. Go and get Wawa. There's nothing better than his one white sock. You got one white sock on your front day. Well, you guys, I moved the bunnies and mushrooms over here from the Dollar Tree and I think it looks so cute. Wow, very thirsty. Give us a strut, give us a strut, give us a strut. Yeah, give us a strut. Wow. Okay, you guys, I wanted to wait for Bruno to be done with his grooming before I ended this vlog so you guys could see. And he looks perfect. Um, I do love his hair long, though. It's always sad when it's not long anymore, but this is the perfect amount for no mats. So, now we can keep you nice and brushed. Yes. Wow. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you for watching this vlog. I love you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.